Hey guys, I love Random McCoy at 2011 here with uh, Yu Gi Oh! Fridays episode 14 review. Um, so, in this episode, uh, Ghost Girl or Emma is still looking uh, into why Playmaker or Yusaku can use the data store, and it believes it has something to do with the event 10 years ago and tries to hack into cell technologies to find out. Uh, to find, uh, but instead she finds a data store and has to log out before uh, Soul Technologies can, uh, can, uh, can trace her. And it looks like she had to go out to Yusaku in order to get access to the data store and to get what she needs. And it looks like after Soul Technology found out that. Sizen knew too much about uh, about uh, uh, after Yusaku's talk with Revolver. Uh, uh, that they promised to replace him with Kitamura since he won't ask questions when he gets promoted, and he'll get results done. Um, and when we saw. Uh, uh, Kitamura, he was like very, he was really bossy, like, and he was just making sure that all his workers were just doing what he wants, and it's to get uh, what the what the higher ups in Soul Technology wants for him, and. Um, so Ghost Girl wants to know more about the event that Yusaku mentioned in the past, but Zaizen doesn't know. So Ghost Girl tells Zaizen that she got the job at Soul Technology in order to do so, in order to get and put in a back door so she can like get into the system and get more information from them. Um, and so Ghost Girl also copied the code that Soichi used to help her get to the data store. And again, uh, we see that the AI, I, or Ignis, and uh, Rob Hoppy, like the robot servant over at Yukisaku's home, are having like sex apparently, which is a, has been a joke in for a while that most of us have uh, uh, so Yusaku and Yusaku was thinking about Revolver and had said that it, when Revolver said AIs have free will and how Ignis created a cyphers and is trying to make take over the network during their duel uh, Yusaku needed answers uh, and he believes that Ghost Girl is a and, and Ghost Girl used the source code that Soichi sent him in a message from a popular hacking forum. I guess it's good for uh, the good hackers. I mean, it wouldn't be suspicious if you have there's a pop online forum for hackers. Obviously, the government will be trying to uh, go down on that and freaking. Uh, track down everyone's IP address just to uh, and arrest everyone yeah. and so uh, Ghost Girl challenges Playmaker to a duel in exchange for Ignis um, in exchange she'll give hit, uh, Yusaku the program to get into the back door for a uh, soul technology if uh, he, she, if uh, Yusaku wins, and uh, she even sent them part of the code, and Soichi confirms that this is a real code. Um, so Yusaku accepts a duel and uses the same speech pattern as he before of listing the three things uh, uh, when he uh, wants to reassure uh, Soichi. Uh, that 
if it was a good idea to do a ghost girl. Um, uh, because Soichi obviously was concerned and said this has to be a trap, but Isaku said that, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, he uses the speech pattern to list the three things, like in his duel with revolver and uh, when in his fla in the flashback episode when I mean, when he was still a kid. Um. After that, the uh, reporters, Yamamoto the frog and uh, the pigeon are working on another story in Link Frames and uh, when, because in their previous story, Yusaku uh, tracked down their file and deleted it, so I guess Yamamoto the frog and the pigeon are just comedy or comic relief in this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh show. I, I mean, you've seen like Chaz Princeton and uh, uh, Sawatari, they were the comedy relief. Joey Wheeler, he was comedy relief, com comic relief in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So I guess the frog and the, uh, Yamamoto and the pigeon are comic relief. Um, Ghost Girl is like, said that she's like a treasure hunter in the cyber world, so I guess she can... She looks for like hidden data and stuff like that in the cybers world. While uh, and uh, Yusaku teaches Ignis, so uh, I feel like this anime also teaches about uh, uh, use is using Ignis as a way to like a way for Yusaku to teach Ignis what it means to be a human or something like that. So Yusaku teaches Ignis that humans can feel things instead of learning from them, unlike uh, AI because they have feelings, uh, humans have feelings. And the, Yusaku and Ignis were surprised that, well they believe that uh, Ghost Girl has intel on both uh, Yusaku and Ignis based on uh, his Yusaku's previous duels with uh, um, oh shoot I forgot his name uh, he had a duel with Aoi and uh, Revolver as well as uh, the, the wrestler guy I forgot his name but I'm pretty sure they have uh, soul technologies and everyone has information on Yusaku and the cyber stack that he uses. And so, um, the ghost, ghost Girl uses an Alter Jace deck, which is a new archetype in the Yu Gi Oh game. And uh, Yusaku attacks, and when Ignis warns about her two face downs, uh, Yusaku said that if he was scared, he wouldn't have accepted a duel. Uh, so she's not afraid of her face downs, uh, or basically her in general. So, um, and it appears her deck mostly focused on swarming the field. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Yamamoto is still recording their duel, Ghost Girl. Uh, use, uh, uses her skill to end the duel before uh, Yusaku can use his data storm skill. Even Yusaku agrees. Um, well, actually, uh, Yusaku, I mean, Ghost Girl, like pushes Yusaku into a corner, and he's like, and she's about to hit him with enough points of damage to take him out of the duel, and then. She, her strategy was to take out Yusaku before his life points get low enough for him to use his skill, which is Data Storm, to get a uh, free uh, card in his extra deck, a Link Monster, specifically. Because this, uh, this Yu-Gi-Oh! series mostly focuses on uh, Link Monsters. Uh, just like uh, 5Ds focus on Synchros and... Uh, and... Uh, Sexo focused on uh, XC summoning. So, uh, 
even uh, during their duel, Yusaku agrees with Ghost Girl that Ignis is a dumb AI, and the reporters are finally surprised that they were able to finally get are able to report a duel for Yusaku after all the trouble that they've been through in the past. Um, and but when they do get are able to record a duel with Yusaku, Yusaku is about to lose, and so. Um, but obviously Yusaku is not gonna lose because he has uh, two uh, because of the plot. Um, obviously he's gonna win and uh, get the back door from Ghost Girl to get into Soul Technology to figure out what's going on in order to advance the plot. And that uh, Yusaku also has two face downs, so uh, obviously they're gonna be counter traps uh, in order to uh, get help him get out of that situation. Um, overall, this was a really good episode. It builds on uh, Ghost Girl's character more, uh, and her interaction with Playmaker. Maybe they'll work together in the future. Uh, hopefully this time the reporters won't get their news report deleted by Yusaku this time after he hacks into their system. And because it sucked for them, I mean, it's their job. They need the money. Uh, so yeah. No, I can't wait for the next episode. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a nice day.